Hi, I'm Mina from Blue White, and in this video, I'll demonstrate how to install the Flow Read R300 flow meter. Installing a Flow Read flow meter on your pool system will allow you to monitor the amount of water flowing through the filtration system, which will allow you to dial in the speed of the variable speed pool pump, ultimately improving the efficiency in your system. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install the Flow Read R300 flow meter. But before we install the R300, it's essential to practice safety. Always wear safety glasses when working around the system. The Flow Read R300 flow meter will ship with the following items. A quick start guide, a Flow Read flow meter, a gasket seal, and two 316 stainless steel clamps. Some other items we recommend when installing your blue white R300 flow meter are a tape measure, a hand drill, a 5 16th nut driver or flathead screwdriver, a 3 16th drill bit, 5 8 countersink bit, a felt tip pen or dry erase marker, and a deburring tool or sandpaper. Safety tip, be sure to relieve pressure in the pipe before performing any installation or maintenance. Before we install the R300, let's review the installation requirements. One. Identify a location downstream from the filter to install the flow meter. This will prevent debris from clogging the meter. Two, ensure there is enough straight pipe to meet the minimum required dimensions of five times the pipe diameter upstream and two times the pipe diameter downstream. Three, ensure the piping is straight, is schedule 40 and does not exceed 75 PSI. Now that we've reviewed the installation requirements, let's go on location to a residential pool and I'll demonstrate how to install the FlowRead R300 flow meter. Here we are at a residential pool. We reviewed the installation requirements and what tools you need, so let's install this flow meter. First, turn off your pool equipment. Begin by measuring the pipe. You'll need a minimum of five times the pipe diameter upstream and two times the pipe diameter downstream. In our example, the pipe diameter is two inches. So we'll measure 10 inches upstream and make a mark. Then we'll measure four inches downstream and make a mark. Pro tip, use a dry erase marker for easy cleanup. Locate an ideal spot between the two markings and drill a pilot hole using the 3 16th drill bit. The hole needs to be directly on top of the horizontal pipe. Then drill a hole using the 5 8 drill bit. Keep the drill perpendicular to the pipe to ensure the hole is straight. Remove all burrs using a deburring tool or sandpaper. Open the flow read flow meter and inspect the meter. Insert the pitot tube with the gasket into the hole, ensuring the direction of flow matches the arrow to the flow meter. For a secure fit, hand tighten the clamps alternately with a 5 16th nut driver or flathead screwdriver. Lastly, turn on the system slowly and check for leaks. Avoid sudden bursts of flow to the meter. To set your variable speed pool pump to the correct output, refer to our pool turnover calculator here. This pool is about 20,000 gallons. To turn the water over four times a day, the pump should be running at 55.5 gallons per minute. Refer to the flow meter to see what your pool pump is running at and adjust accordingly. Now that we have the meter installed, let's get back to the studio. This has been a demonstration installing the FlowRead R300 flow meter. For further questions or assistance, please reach out to us at customerservice at blue-white.com. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, please visit blue-white.com.